The watercolour, Perils of the Sea, was painted in 1881, while Homer was living in the fishing village of Cullercoats on the northeast coast of England. Sea fishing was, and still is, a hazardous occupation. The weather in the North Sea is unpredictable, and a sudden storm can turn a routine fishing trip into a life-threatening situation. Homer composed the watercolour in his studio from a number of sketches and drawings. Our attention is focused on a group of figures assembled above Cullercoats Bay. The figures gaze out to sea, their body language and their anxious expressions suggesting their concern for friends and family in danger on the water. In particular, two women stand together, wrapped in heavy shawls to shield themselves from the bad weather. They are isolated physically and seem also to be isolated emotionally from the men engaged in urgent conversation beyond the railing. Homer clearly felt that Perils of the Sea was a strong, successful composition. Seven years after painting the watercolour, he produced an etching of the same subject. The image, copied from the watercolour onto an etching plate, is naturally reversed when the plate is printed. The etching is not, however, simply a reproduction of the watercolour. In redrawing it, Homer removed the railing and deepened the shadows. He also eliminated the pointing arm of one of the fishermen, thereby making this group of figures into a more tightly huddled mass.